Welcome back everybody, my name is Nick930 and this is a brief summary of gaming news this week. Obviously the biggest news this week was the Electronic Entertainment Expo and all the big announcements that came out of that. If you want information about all the games announced at E3, make sure you check out my channel for the E3 2017 playlist and check out the summaries I did there. Since most of the news this week revolves around the announcements from E3, I'm just going to run through some of the biggest announcements from the show. EA Games came out strong with some gameplay clips for their new games like Star Wars Battlefront 2 and also showed us two brand new titles, A Way Out and Anthem. Microsoft officially revealed the Xbox One X, previously known as the Xbox Scorpio, and announced that it would be starting at $4.99 and would be available this November. In addition to this, Microsoft also showed off a ton of indie games and took time to reveal a brand new Metro game, gameplay for the new Assassin's Creed, and gameplay for the aforementioned Anthem. Bethesda's conference may have been one of the weakest conferences at the show, with very few interesting announcements aside from the sequels for Evil Within and Wolfenstein. The PC gaming conference revealed a few indie titles including Tunic, which looks like an isometric Zelda game with a fox protagonist. Ubisoft started off their conference showing a new Mario game mixed in with their Raving Rabbids. After that, they showed another trailer for Assassin's Creed Origins, announced a sequel to The Crew, and officially revealed a brand new pirate ship battle game called Skull and Bones. They wrapped up their show with a brief Far Cry 5 demonstration and a big cinematic trailer for the long-anticipated Beyond Good and Evil 2. Sony's conference introduced very few new games and basically only showed more gameplay footage for games that they announced last year at E3, including Days Gone, God of War, and Spider-Man. They did finally reveal some gameplay footage for this year's Call of Duty and also announced a remake of the fan favorite Shadow of the Colossus, but overall their conference was pretty weak as well. And finally, Nintendo came out on stage with a lot of great announcements to help sell their Nintendo Switch console. Nintendo announced a new Kirby game, a Yoshi game, gave us another trailer for Mario Odyssey, and showed us some Zelda Breath of the Wild DLC. They also officially revealed that they are working on a Pokemon RPG for the Switch. The biggest announcement from Nintendo at E3 was the very brief confirmation that they are making Metroid Prime 4 for the Nintendo Switch. And that basically sums up E3 2017. Here's a few other things that you may have missed throughout the week. Rockstar officially released Grand Theft Auto Online's Gun Runners update this Tuesday. The update allows you to purchase a bunker and start a literal underground gun running business, with some very cool resupply missions, lots of new attachments for your weapons, and some crazy new armored vehicles. Treyarch released the Zombie Chronicles DLC for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on PC on Thursday, which gives players access to 8 classic zombie maps with updated visuals and a few minor tweaks like gobblegum machines and perk colas. The DLC pack is $30 even if you purchase the Season Pass. And Cyanide Studio announced a new Call of Cthulhu game offstage at E3. It appears to be a psychological thriller with some RPG elements and is trying its best to stay true to Lovecraft's source material. And that's it for this week in gaming news. I hope you guys enjoyed the content I posted this week on E3 and welcome to everyone who recently subscribed. I'll be gone next week for business, but I'll try and have some content for you guys to hold you over. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if there's any big news I may have missed. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all next time.